Friends, you might have seen our recent video where I traded my gaming PC for this PS5 over here, the most expensive PS5 in the entire world because it cost me essentially $3,000 to get. You can check out that video right up there. Anyways, one of the experiments that I wanted to do with the PS5 is actually check out its SSD, especially since Sony is claiming that it's way faster than anything that's on PC at the time that it's being released. I wanted to find out, is that actually true? And with the fact that they haven't certified any SSDs to be installed on the internal drive that's on this PS5, I wanna see what happens. If we do take the world's current fastest SSD that's on the market, the Samsung 980 Pro. There are a few that are gonna be released in the short future that are faster than this, but this is currently the king of M.2 SSDs that you can purchase. We're gonna slap it in the PS5 and we're gonna see what it does. Cause honestly, I have no idea. I haven't been able to find anything on the internet about this just yet. So let's find out what happens when we put an extra terabyte of super fast NVMe storage into this PS5. And we're gonna do all that after we talk about today's video sponsor. My friends, today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. In case you haven't heard of them before, Skillshare is the online learning community where you can embark upon dozens of different topics and different classes for the creative and curious people who are out there, including things such as freelance and entrepreneurship, web development, marketing, film and video, in case you wanna be a YouTuber or graphic design. Personally, I really enjoy their entrepreneurship classes. And in fact, this one by Simon Sinek is of key importance to me, presentation essentials, how to share ideas that inspire action. I've just finished listening to Simon Sinek's book, The Infinite Game, and so seeing that he had a class on Skillshare that I could partake in and engage in and learn even more from him about was highly crucial for me. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads that you have to mess with, and it's more than affordable, coming in at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. I'm a fan of lifelong learning, and I think that you should be too, and the first 1,000 of you who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Again, that's the link in the video description. Check them out, Skillshare. Learn as much as you possibly can, folks, and do it with Skillshare, because it's affordable and great. So this is gonna be my first time opening up the PS5. I have watched the tutorial that Sony put out on how to do it, but I think it's probably good if you follow along at home just so you know how to access the SSD. So as far as I understand, these side panels are attached via clips, which means that they should just technically pop off, allegedly. Okay, so as far as I saw, you're supposed to pull from both sides and then slide it down is the way it comes off and that's done pretty easily. But you can see on the side that does indeed have the PlayStation logo, the SSD's not on this side. This side's actually fairly blank. So let's go ahead, do it the other side, pull up and then slide down. There we go. Grabbing it from the opposite end of the Blu-ray drive, I was able to get it. So there we have it. It's a single Phillips head screwdriver to unlock the extra M.2 SSD that could potentially go in here. So I'm curious how this is gonna work with an unofficial, not sanctioned SSD from Sony on this matter. So it has a little ring that comes out that you put over which size you're going to need. I believe this Samsung 980 Pro is a 2280, so it needs to go on that 80 section right there. There's the SSD and all of its seven gigabyte per second glory. You can see it is PCI Express 4.0 that should just slot right in there. Yep, 2280 is the correct fit. And now it's time to screw it back down. So clearly this isn't as simple as upgrading the storage drive on uh, the Xbox Series X, but this could be obviously equated to installing an M.2 SSD on a PC. And this is something that I have appreciated Sony for over the years is the fact that they've actually been much better about adding extra storage like in things like the PS4. My PS4 Pro over here is rocking a one terabyte uh, two and a half inch SSD that I upgraded from the second I got it. And thankfully Sony gives you access to all of the operating system that you need in order to even boot from a different device than what they ship. Now the question is, how is that going to work right now with the new drive in here? And that's it. That was a relatively quick installation setup. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like once we get it all set up. So as far as I understand it, this is actually a really intriguing experiment because this is the first time Sony's gonna allow you to have two different drives in a system. You have the initial soldered on memory that's on the PS5, but now I've added an M.2 storage, which is expandable, whereas previously with a PS4 or PS4 Pro, you would have to get a brand new 
A module is inserted in the expansion slot. Turn off your PS5, remove the module, and then turn the PS5 back on. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic. Do they not let you do anything if something's installed? Let's try that again. Yeah, that appears to be it. It doesn't want you to install anything into that module for the time being. My guess is that'll come in a later firmware update where you're able to actually put an M.2 drive into the PS5 and it'll actually accept it because that's not even trying to register or read anything. So I think for now, that's kind of a useless slot. Wow, okay, well, that's a quick and sudden conclusion to the video. That's all I have to say on the matter. Why don't we get, go ahead and thank today's video sponsor for helping me finance some of that PS5 because the last video sponsor didn't pay for the full thing. So let's talk about today's. And the first 1000 of you who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. Again, that's the link in the video description. Check them out, Skillshare. Learn as much as you possibly can, folks, and do it with Skillshare because it's affordable and great. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.